In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and discuss the Photoshop Rectangular Marquee Tool. The mar Rectangular Marquee Tool can be found at, in the toolbar on the left-hand side. It should be the second toolbar uh, tool down. And if you have one of these other tools selected, just left-click and hold to get your flyout menu and select the Rectangular Marquee. If you see a letter, by the way, at the end of the flyout menus, that's your keyboard shortcut for that tool. So a couple of things here. Let's start off by making a selection. Click and drag to make a selection, and you're going to see a rectangle a marquee around these marching ants here. That means that the pixels inside of your selected area are editable. The pixels outside of that area are not. Let me demonstrate. So I'm going to select a brush tool here, and uh, on this uh, image layer here, I'm going to paint outside of it by clicking and dragging, and you notice nothing is happening. But if I click and drag across the selected pixels, I'm able to manipulate it. In this case, with the brush, paint over. I'm going to undo by going to menu, undo, or control Z. So the marquee tool by itself allows you to select pixels. It doesn't actually do anything to the actual pixels. If you click outside of the selected area, it deselects. So I'm going to click and drag, click outside, it deselects. If you click inside of it, it just moves the selection area. Using the Alt key allows you to subtract. For example, if you needed to reduce, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and subtract from it. You'll notice that the cursor changes from uh, and it'll add a minus sign. In the same way, the Shift key will add a plus sign, so that allows you to make uh, an addition to the selection. And you'll notice in this case, you can actually modify your selected area and get pretty abstract with it by holding the Alt to subtract or uh, the Shift to add to that area there. Now, uh, up here you notice the control key does actually moving and cutting. So if you are outside of your selected area and you hold control, you get the move tool. So that will allow you to now move. And you notice it moves everything. So it's just the move tool. If you're inside of it and you hold it, it'll actually cut. Now if you uh, click and drag, that will cut that area. And as soon as you release, it drops it. In their layers palette, uh, you'll notice though that we did not create a new layer. So that's not the most effective way to actually cut and move an area out. Uh, be sure to review the layers palette tutorial to understand layers a little bit more. I'm going to undo that there. So once again, uh, with the control key, if you're outside, you're going to move the entire layer. If you're inside, you're going to cut the entire layer. If you click off of it, it deselects. If you have a selection made and you do Control and Alt together, what it's going to do, it's going to duplicate that area there. So now you notice I have a duplicate copy. Once again, it did not create a new layer, so not the most effective way to actually uh, modify images. So here I'm going to show you a quick example. I'm going to make a selection here, hit the backspace to delete, and hit the backspace here to delete that. So now we have a small portion of that original image left there. And I'm going to give you an advanced tip here. I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to hold down control. Now I want you to note here that uh, if I turn off that background layer, you see that checkered pattern. Those are transparent pixels. That's in other words, the background to Photoshop. Transparent pixels means that there is no pixels there at all. So my selection is larger than the available pixels. If you hold the control, that gives you the move uh, icon as long as your cursor is outside of the area and use any of the arrow keys and what it'll do is it'll reduce your selection to your actual pixels on that layer. Now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate. I'm going to hold down Control and Alt and duplicate to create a copy of this uh, layer here and do that one more time there just like that. I'm going to click off of it to deselect and holding down the Control I can now have the Move tool and I can actually move my entire uh, area over. So that's how you use the actual Photoshop Rectangular Marquee tool. Be sure to check out more tutorials at 5minutetutorials.com or subscribe to our channel below. And thanks for watching.